It's in November and the uh, trees down the main drive are now changing colour and some have already lost the leaves. <coughs> uh, the toilets and this is uh, quite a spectacular colourful bush. Really popping out. Spectacular little bush as we come in from Tipkin. You don't notice it all year round. When the leaves go this colour, it stands out. Down by uh, Tipkin, the side of the lake, the final trees are now going a bit of autumn colour. A lot of the big trees have uh, totally bare now. Again we have dogs running totally amok, not on the lead. Why he's gone into those bushes and what's he up to? Last swing around the uh, lake as autumn comes to a close and probably the last time we're going to see all this colour. This tree in front of me is virtually leafless now. The big ones leafless. Just a few over there that are uh, looking quite spectacular. About another week or so and into winter with uh, no leaves on the trees. No. <coughs> Canada geese having a, a game of follow me leader all lined up one after the other. Where are they going? The other side of the lake and this has fared a bit better, some of the trees are hanging on a bit uh, longer but most have gone. This one's a real sort of halloween -y type of tree and hanging on. over there look uh, quite nice. Spectacular sort of uh, tree. Very feathery. There's its leaves. Again down Coronation Walk and the waterfall is not really doing anything yet again. It's been a total disaster. Well the bit at the bottom, this is ridiculous. I think half the water from the waterfall ends up here, because it was supposed to be a bog garden. And it really is a, a bog garden. It's one of them things if you don't know and you let your kids run loose here the next minute they come out inches deep in mud. And the final uh, view of Coronation Walk as they used to say until they threw the round window. <laughs> Soon we will be in total uh, 
winter and no leaves on the trees at all. More ill than normally neglected, but the gardens have uh, managed to find some polyanthus to put in. A pretty tough plant, so uh, it may just sort of survive. The problem is nobody ever waters it up here because it's nowhere close to water. Well, it's a good display of uh, polyanthus that the gardeners have done. Up near the bandstand the area there and there's still a few trees hanging on. This is the last time that uh, we'll see the autumn colour. A few days and it'll be all bare and wintry. Three or four days we'll be back into this stupid lockdown again. The problem is that it's well recognised and proven that part of the answer is having vitamin D. And the top brains in the world have proved it. 97% of people with the correct vitamin D that had the virus didn't die. And they've done tests where people have had the virus, given them vitamin D, and they've been okay. And the government, for some reason, have not mentioned this, and it's such a cheap solution. You go to your local supermarkets and get some vitamin D3. And if you want the scientific evidence, go on YouTube and search for Dr. Campbell. Now, he's a world-renowned uh, consultant. It's not Fred from Morrison's that once sold a packet of aspirin and he actually produces the scientific evidence from all around the world so it's well worth uh, listening to his videos once again the old squirrels are out collecting the nuts and there's plenty of nuts here acorns why well, they always turn around so you don't see them it's quite annoying To swing round. We have the old pigeons here, there seems to be hundreds of pigeons about again. Quite what they're after, but uh, not meeting something. This one's not burying his nuts, he's making, <laughs> he's actually eating his nuts. Not stupid. I love the uh, sort of fairy tale tree. Sanders back on the lake and at the top end of the lake today. One, two, three, four females and one male. I think there's another male about somewhere. It's a bit strange because normally they lose the feathers any time now and can't fly. So the males, in the wisdom, fly off to somewhere where it's safe and leave the poor females on their own. This one's sticking about. And up normally down this top end. Are still harassing them. Remembrance Sunday, and uh, we can see now that most of the trees have now lost all the leaves. There's one or two just uh, still hanging on. One or two over there. They're all on the sort of last legs. I mentioned this before that Morton Roadside lose the leaves quicker than in the middle of the park. You can hear the row, it's the 
helicopter over above. Remembrance Sunday and uh, somebody's remember the Burma star on the island. It's winter and all the flowers are finished but these Mahonia are just coming into flower. Quite a nice display and some of the leaves are changing. The flowers are making a lovely display. This is on Burma Island. Remembrance Day, it's just gone 11 o'clock and not a single soul has placed anything on the Gulf War Memorial. Every year this is totally ignored. The people that gave their lives in the war. Just take a moment to remember them. Seeing as nobody else is going to be bothered. 15th of November and it's really wintry now. Nice bright day for once but all the trees are now bare or most of them. There's one there sort of hanging on but everywhere you look there's uh, trees with no leaves. So winter is upon us. The old weeping willow just about hanging on to its leaves. Most to the others have uh, gone. Just swinging around the other side, there's one, or two ears that's uh, just barely hanging on. It's interesting, the top island near Tipkinda, they've cut all the uh, weeds back. What the point of that is, we'll have to wait and see. Because to get rid of all them brambles, it's going to be known being feet. You can cut them back as big as ever next year, unless they dig them up. And to get rid of them now, it's in such a state, uh, it's almost impossible. We'll have to keep watching. Some Ireland is on the same, they've had a uh, Cut back. Shit. How long? Ripping out all the weeds and planting up properly. I say to stop the uh, weeds coming back is almost impossible. It's just been so many years. Still got the little ramp for the uh, birds to go up. That's survived. Second of November, and the lions have now put their sign back in this bed. So why they've gone to all the trouble of knocking it down and making it into a little bed, it's not quite clear. So the middle of November, and these wildflowers by the bowling green are still in flower. Actually, better now than they have been uh, all year. Quite a nice display, even this time of year. Well, nearly all the trees have now lost the uh, leaves. There's one here just sort of uh, hanging on and another one barely hanging on. They haven't done any more to the islands, it's well chopped back. Apparently that's as far as they're going to go. The problem was it was dangling in the water. 
was such a crying shame that uh, don't have proper plants there because it always used to be lovely. The interesting bit is that I uh, worked on a project once and if you leave ground alone you'll first get weeds then you'll get these brambles and eventually you will get trees growing it's just nature's way so if they leave it too long you have an island full of trees which has got to be an improvement Goosander back. Female. The old weeping willow. Uh, is that the only thing left on the lake now that's got uh, any leaves? <coughs> the sun's just hitting it. It's a lovely colour. the swans back there's three down here and there's been two down the bottom so the ones returned from Stapley it's been there about a month been fed there in the old Malinois like they're nice not bothered Up near the bandstand there's a couple of trees still hanging on to the leaves. Most of them are now gone, there's another one there barely hanging on. But uh, it's safe to say that winter's upon us. Two dogs here totally running loose, nobody knows who the hell they are or where they are. Obviously not under control age-old problem. Surprisingly the old periwinkle coming into flower this is normally sort of a summer flower so well, this is all new flowers not bad for November